What's going on today, guys? Massive amount of money here. And today we'll be talking about tables. Really? So we're talking about, we're talking about tables today? Yeah, we're talking about tables. So apparently Teenage Engineering has lost their mind and they are now selling a table for $1,600. You may be wondering, Weaver, why are you talking about this? This is a music production channel and this is a table. Well, Teenage Engineering is a music production company, so if they do something insane like make a table, you best believe I'm gonna talk about it. Now I'm gonna address the first argument I know some people are gonna have. Well, if it's too expensive for you, then don't buy it. You're right, they're free to charge as much as they want for this stupid table. I'm also within my right to make a bunch of jokes about it. So if you go to the website, this is the first thing you see, a bunch of tables, probably about $400,000 worth of tables here. It is called the Field Desk, a space truss constructed from recycled aluminum and assembled with double-sided formica bitch plywood. Sorry, birch plywood. Field Desk is our very own modular workspace. It's everything it needs to be and nothing it doesn't. I heard it here first, guys. Minimalism is uh, the way in here. They're gonna give you the minimal amount of shit, but you're gonna pay them a maximum amount of money. So if you're curious what this thing looks like, it looks like one of those tables that you would see by like a shop or something, or maybe at school, except they probably paid a lot less for it at school. Maybe it looks a little bit different, you know? But hey, it's made out of aluminum. You know, the thing that cans are made out of. Don't worry, it's also pretty thin too. And don't worry, you also have to put it together yourself. Now, I'm not sure exactly why it's called the field desk. Maybe it's meant for you to go to war with. Maybe it's meant for you to be out in the field getting shit done. Maybe they're just having a field day with you. Since they love to build things, we decided to milk you. Sorry, we decided to create our own modular work environment. Field Desk acknowledges our evolving workspaces and everything that comes with them. It's crazy. They do these insane mental gymnastics in order to make it sound like you need this $1,600 desk. That's like the most minimal basic desk in the world. You may be asking what sort of features does this thing have? It must be somehow worth $1,600, right? These are the features here. It's just some thin aluminum holding it up and then a very skinny piece of wood. Don't worry though, they're called field rails. It's not just aluminum, they're called field rails and it's got Teenage Engineering logos all over it. So, you know, you get what you pay for essentially, aluminum and logos. Field Desk is part of our field rail system. It's an open-ended range of interconnecting aluminum rails that enable the creation of customizable modular furniture and accessories. Again, insane gymnastics to make it sound like this is cool. I will venture a guess and say it's not that cool though. It's made from 75% recycled circle aluminum from Scandinavian manufacturer Hydro. Maybe it's recycled from cans. And they have all the specs of the aluminum here, which is like, who fucking cares, right? I don't care, I don't care about the clamps. I don't care about the R20 rail system, R10, A10. You don't even have to name all this shit. One thing I do care about though, is that this is an industrial standard 20 millimeter railing, which is basically the cheapest railing you can buy. And here's the board here. You may be asking, how big is this thing? Well, they gave it to us in millimeters here. So we're gonna convert that. So it's 45 inches by 30 inches so on the plus side i will say it is good that it's longer on top of that it's easy to assemble and disassemble according to them wait is that a what's in the box reference uh yeah so for sixteen hundred dollars you're still putting that thing together yourself but thankfully the keys and screws are included they also offer custom interiors for your workspace you idiot Sorry, sorry, for your workspace. The minimal form factor of the field rail system makes it adaptable to a variety of professional environments. Please contact us with requests and let our designers help you. Yeah, you can help them make some money and they can help you with more minimalistic overpriced crap. You can only support 165 pounds though. That's a little bit on the low side, I believe. Yeah, as you can see here. Holy shit. Please note though, there is no free shipping. So you're paying them $1,600, probably most of it is profit and there's no free shipping because fuck you that's why so if this sounds good to you i i would ask you to get your head checked because i don't know why you'd pay for this anyways there's something wrong with me so i put 25 of them in my shopping cart here the maximum amount i don't know why they have a maximum of 25 i mean they clearly care about money a lot so i mean i would think they would just let you keep going putting that number up although it does say there's actually free shipping over 120 dollars here excludes the field desk though boo boo <laughs> Anyways, so I'm getting 25 of these, which is gonna be uh, $40,000. So I'll just click in the checkout button there. All right, you know, put in my name. Now, normally I wouldn't be talking about a desk because I could care less really, but uh, I hate teenage engineering. They make a bunch of overpriced crap and they really proved it today. Like I thought the OP1 was already kind of overpriced. I thought some of the other stuff like the computer case was overpriced, but Jesus Christ, man, $1,600 lightweight desk with no electronics included. You can literally get an electronic adjustable one for like less than $300. If you're someone who needs that, uh, 
they this this company has not sponsored me or I'm not affiliated with them in any way. But I have actually purchased this desk before. Pretty good desk. You can even get a bigger desk for less than $300 still, and it's uh, adjustable. You plug it in, you can adjust the height. Surprisingly, this one actually supports more weight than the Teenage Engineering one. This one supports 176 while being electronic and being able to lift up. So yeah, suck on that, Teenage Engineering. Only, only problem with this one is this, there's not as much depth to it, but you can get a wider one. So, you know, trade-offs, but hey, you're saving yourself $1,300. And then they have other desks too. Can't believe we're talking about this on this channel right now. It's funny because even Music Radar heard about this. Even they're talking shit, which is weird because normally they're they're just sucking them off all the time. If you thought we'd already reached peak teenage engineering, oh no, trust me, we haven't. This is teenage engineering. Yeah, this, this is engineered by a teenager who wants to milk the shit out of you, money-wise. I guess the idea with the double-sided Formica bitch plywood is that you can flip it over once it's all worn out from you doing your field work, you know. Uh, it doesn't come with any drawers, but you will be able to buy stuff, more stuff to add on top of it. So instead of buying a good desk, you could buy this desk and then attach shit that'll cost more money on top of the already expensive desk. At this point, I'm starting to wonder if Teenage Engineering is a money laundering scheme because there's no way to explain the prices of a lot of these products here. But yeah, if you're thinking about buying this desk, uh, go to Ikea or Amazon instead, or pretty much anywhere else on the planet, you'll save some money and you could buy something else better. There's even one from Output that's $900 with a keyboard tray. This one still kind of looks like a piece of shit, but uh, this is still better than the Teenage Engineering one, I think. At least I think. I don't know. This is still really overpriced, I feel like. Anyways, guys, uh, massive hater here. Trying to see if I can make eight minutes of content out of this piece of shit desk. Sorry, not that piece of shit desk. Leave me know in the comments what you think about this piece of shit desk. Do you guys want this piece of shit desk? I don't want this piece of shit desk. I'll make sure to check my other videos if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't. Second channel, social medias, beat battle. See you guys in the next video.